Hi, welcome to this Dreamlight video making a simple animation using Dreamlight Movie Maker. I'm your host, Mike Ambruso, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily make the dance video you saw at the opening of this instructional video. It's going to be really simple and really quick. Uh, we've got our uh, Animate Light tab up here. We've got our Movie Maker tab opened on the screen. We've got Victoria 4 in the scene, and I just threw together a real quick character using Victoria 4, a bikini, Cozaburro hair prop, a Vanessa textured set. I dialed in some morphs to kind of make her look like a dancer, and we're ready to go with her. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to grab a couple of anti blocks from the dance collection. Let's see. Like the hip hop combo, and nah, yeah, this one's good. Just throwing something together real quick. Obviously, if you're doing your own video, we're only going to use. I'm only going to use two combos here. Let's play this and see how it looks. But obviously, if you're doing your own movie, you're going to want to put a little bit more thought into you know your dance moves and transitions than I'm doing here. We're just going to do this real quick. Yeah, sure, that works. Okay, now one thing you notice here is that although Vicky's body is moving and grooving, her face looks like a robot. So we're going to go in real quick and we're just going to grab some expressions from Jola Gecko's collection and uh, just apply some basic expressions. We'll look through here and see what we have that looks neat. I like these with the eyes, so we'll start her out with this and we'll jump forward about three seconds. Move the eyes the other way. And again, I'm not being real picky here. Obviously, for finished work, you want to put a lot, lot more thought into this. But I'm just showing you that simply layering some facial expressions over these dance animations makes a big difference in how your character is going to look. And just, you know, in the sheer believability, I mean, even, you know, dumb randomly selected expressions like this make it look a lot more realistic and lifelike than just leaving the default face. You always want to get the details, right? And we'll go back and we'll just drop this same expression in at the front. Okay, so now she looks like a horse, but she at least looks like a horse that's having a good time, right? Play that through real quick. All right. Now, onto the meat of our tutorial. We're going to set up the um, Dreamlight Movie Maker. Um, now we have some scenes here, I've got some of the sample ones, but I'm going to show you the great camera angles that we have with the full Atrium Day set that comes with the Director's Pack. So we'll load Atrium Day in. And I'm going to use the right mouse button right here just to quickly repoint the camera. And we'll start it with this first scene in here. Right? And then I'm just going to scrub through the timeline a little bit. And as she finishes her dance moves, I'm going to drop in some MTV-like video cuts here. Alright, so we'll just move the camera around here. Now when I do this and double-click on the camera, it just drops in a keyframe. And we move from there. And I'm just doing some basic scrubbing through the timeline and trying to dance to uh, time my um, camera moves. I'm also going to pull back here a little bit, I think, to uh, the cuts of the dance. And just try and use some of these cool camera angles that we have for her. 
as we scroll through. And just pop these cameras. moves in like that. Sorry, I'm not keeping up a patter going either, but I'm trying to get this to at least look halfway decent for thrown together in 30 seconds, right? Okay. We'll drop back to the initial camera position to finish. Now if we play that through, see we have a real quick Loop. Now there's these jerks where it cuts between the uh, various backdrops. Obviously you're not going to get that in your finished animation. And I think I like these camera cuts. At least well enough to use them for now. And we'll just drop back. Now if you want to preview the action, you know, just hit Control 5 to go to wireframe view and it'll run through it real smooth because it doesn't have to worry about loading the background textures. And that's pretty much our finished animation.